everyone, it's Beth from Sweethearts and I'm here today with my little five-year-old Bailey and we're going to do a video together. So about two years ago I did a style on Bailey and I promised everyone I'd do a tutorial and I didn't. So we're going to do it for you today, it's a braided bun style. You ready boo? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so to start the style what I've done is I've just put Bailey's hair into a ponytail but I've left out probably an inch of hair all the way around that pony. And then what I'm going to do is just take an ordinary small um, donut, okay? And we're going to pull this ponytail through. And then I just want you to secure that to the head from underneath. So just sort of catch hold of it and just push it in. Have another grip please, Bailey. Thank you, darling. Okay, so then you're going to spread this ponytail over the bun. And what I'm going to do is use a little bit of dry wax spray just to make sure there's no flyaways. So when you're covering this donut, guys, what I want you to think is this hair you're going to be braiding with. So it's really important that you try and make it even all the way around. It's not enough just to cover the donut. You really want the same thickness all the way over the top of that bun. Once you've done that, what I want you to do is get a bobble. I'm actually going to use an elastic, but if you want to use a bobble or hair tie, you can. And you're just going to pop that over the top of the bun. Okay, so the next stage is to try again to evenly distribute the hair so that there's hair all the way around. So once you've done that, what I want you to do is make a little gap just off centre I'm going to go. So I'm going to go maybe about there. Okay. Get that hair nice and smooth from the top. Okay, so I'm going to pick up a strand of hair and I'm going to divide that hair into two and then I'm going to pick up a little strand of hair from the bottom here, so from this bottom piece of hair that you left out. So take a slice of that hair. Okay, so now I'm going to begin a French braid. The first little bit is a bit tricky but we can cover it up. Um, with the ending so don't worry too much but you're going to try and get your braid to sit along this line here so you're covering up that part so I'm just going to start a French braid okay and then I'm going to be adding in from both sides guys I'm just going to turn bales a little bit there the first bit is a bit tricky but then like I said it does get easier so you're taking small sections from the top, because don't forget you've got to get this hair to last you all the way around the head. Adding it in like a normal French braid and taking the hair around that part line. So I'm just taking this hair around guys, okay, adding a little section from the bottom joining it in like a normal French braid and then adding a bit from the top around that part line. Okay, so I'm just being careful of Bailey's little hearing aid there. She's chosen these very special accessories today. So yeah. hopefully you love them as much as Bailey. Look at them. Your favourites, aren't they, Boo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so worked my way around the head. Nearly on the other side, making sure that I've left myself enough hair there, okay? So make sure you're sort of taking just enough hair to get you round 
but not so much that you run out of hair before you've got back round to the other side. So just little bits at a time. So last few little bits here and then I'm going to show you how to finish this style. So once you've got round all the way, I want you to then just do an ordinary three strand braid, okay? But after you've done a couple of stitches of that, I want you to just gently pull on the left hand side, not too much, just a little bit, can you see? And you do that all the way down, so don't braid too tightly. I'm just going to pop an elastic in there guys and then we are going to make a little tiny flower. So you're going to take this braid and just start twisting it up like this. And then this flower is going to get pinned right on that start of the braid to sort of disguise the start and the end. I'm then going to take these really small grips, guys. We do sell these in our store, so they're a lot smaller than like your regular size grip or bobby pin. And you're just going to wiggle that through the back of that flower to secure it in place. So lastly, I'm just going to take this little bun ring, okay, you can tie your ribbon if you want to, you haven't got to do this bit, and I'm just going to place it over the top of this bun. And then I've got this little flower, now I actually get these from craft shops, okay, they come in like packs of 20, 50, um, so I just sort of trim the ends, which is like a wire, it's like a bendy wire, and I use these as hair accessories, they're really useful, and I'm just going to pop that inside. Right guys, so that is the style done. I'm gonna do a little 360, but we just had a little practice and we nearly fell. So I'm gonna go nice and slowly. You ready for your spin, boo? Yeah. So that is our spin done. There was no accidents, which is great. Hopefully you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and we'll do another video again very soon. Bye. Bye.